Hello there, welcome to Craft with Fee. First, excuse my voice. Um, you would have noticed in my last video that my voice was going. Well, it's almost gone. But um, I'm just doing the last video. So this is project number nine using the beautiful, simply elegant uh, products from the annual catalogue. Uh, let me show you what we're making today. We're going to be making one of these nail file holders. Uh, I do markets, um, as most of you would be aware. And I... Um, and making these for an upcoming market so they're a nice little gift something that children could use to give to teachers I mean ladies always need a nail file these are a really good quality one and it's just a very simple little project but looks gorgeous in those papers doesn't it this one here is in um, boho indigo which is a retired paper which I'm lucky enough to have quite the stash of um, so I've been using some of that in some of my projects for the markets but um, Today we're going to be making one not in the gold foil side of the paper, we're going to use the plain side for a change. So anyway, uh, and I did want to tell you about this beautiful gold ribbon. This is in the um, little mini catalogue. And I just wanted to show you a little tip about, I'm not sure if you've noticed, um, on how to look up some of, the pro some of the products, I should say, excuse me, in the back of the catalogue. So you can see down here that all of the ribbons are all in the one section, so you can look them all up at the same time. It'll tell you what page they're on. So that gold ribbon that I've used is called Gold 3 8 of an Inch Shimmer Ribbon. And then the one we're going to use in a moment is called Black and White Gingham, and they're both in the back of the catalogue. Um, and, of course, you can see all the papers in the back of the catalogue, all of the specialty goods, um, all of the embellishments, the boxes, uh, everything. So it's a great way for you to look up things very quickly if you need to. So what we're going to need is a nail file. Now this one measures uh, around 7 inches in length, so it gives you some idea of um, how I've made this to fit. Um, this is a standard sort of size, like a full size nail file, but as I said it's a very good quality one. It's the type that they would use in a nail salon, um, so it makes a lovely gift. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is all our cutting. Uh, I'll just bring in my cutter. And I'm going to use just an A4 sheet of card and I'm going to start cutting um, down. Now I did get four out of one sheet with a, nice, um, with a strip left on the side that you can use for something else. Now we want the whole length of the A4 sheet, so the longest length we want. We're going to cut along the short edge and we're going to cut this to be one and three quarters of an inch wide. Okay, so it's going to be one and three quarters of an inch by the length of the A4 sheet. Now we are going to turn it onto its side um, and we will now score this and we're going to score it at three and a quarter inches on one end only. Okay? So we're just going to do that. Now we're going to choose our piece of um, paper and this is the nice, beautiful um, foiled side, but we're going to use this side here. Now we're going to cut two pieces, one and five eighths of an inch in width. So you will actually need to cut two of those if you're using six inch cards at DSP like I am. Um, so one and five eighths. So there we go. I forgot what I was doing there for a moment. Now, the first piece we're going to cross cut at five and a half inches. So you're only going to have a little sliver left off one end. And then the next piece we're going to cut at three and one eighth. So that piece there is scrap as well. Okay. Now we're going to need some tear and tape. And we're going to also need some liquid glue. And we're going to also use our delightful tag topper. So the first thing to do is on that score line is to burnish it with your bone folder. And now we are going to apply some glue to the back of our designer series paper. In that small section, we're going to pop our smallest piece of designer series paper. Now you'll note from the measurements that I've given you that you've got a very nice little border all the way around. So it will sit really, really nicely. Okay. Now we're going to turn it over, and you can turn that up, and you can see that's going to be our front flap there. Just give it another little burnish just to make sure it's nice and straight. And now this other piece of designer series paper we're going to glue up in here. 
So we're going to turn this over and apply the glue. And we're going to pop that on. Now we are going to cut away the top with the punch, so it doesn't matter too much if it's not perfect at the top. Most of it's going to be cut away anyway. Now while this is drying, we'll just give it a go with the bone folder and make sure we've got it nicely adhered. We're now going to pop some tear and tape down the two long eds, edges, I should say, of the flap. Now, the reason it's called tear and tape, of course, is because it does tear. So you can, I'm not very straight there, you can tear it with your finger like that. Or you can use another straight edge of something else, like your bone folder, and you can tear it that way as well. Either way works fine. Now, I always give tear and tape a burnish to make sure it's adhered down beautifully. And then I use, like to use my Take Your Pick tool to remove the adhesive top on it. And then we're just going to close this up. Now just make sure that you've got the edges lined up beautifully. You can just pop it on its side, make sure that it's lined up very well. Give it a good burnish. And then we're going to pop it inside our tag topper. Now you will note that you're going to have a little bit left on either side. So you need to turn it over and make sure that you're nicely centered. Just like that. Okay. Now mine isn't cutting very well at the moment. I think I've probably got something stuck in it. But anyway, I'll pull it out and I'll just trim that little tiny bit off there with my scissors. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so the next step is to pop your bone folder in there and make sure that everything's sort of adhered really well and that you can still get things down in through the side. So we're now going to decorate it before we pop this in. Now what I've done is I've chosen, you'll see on these ones here, I've chosen a think sentiment. Um, I'm going to do some happy birthday ones and some that say just for you. Um, but we're just going to do the thanks ones for now. I found a thanks that was quite small enough and it came in my stamp set here, Simply Succulents. And it's this one here. And then I've got some layering circles dies. So I've used a plain circle for the inside and a lay the next size up layering one in the black so that they sit beautifully. So you can still buy this layering circles die set. It's a great set. Um, very handy. I mentioned the other day that we don't sell the uh, circle punches anymore. Um, so these are the next best thing. So we're just going to glue um, our first layer and then pop it onto our second layer. There like that. And you'll see that that looks really, really gorgeous with the scalloped edge. I think it's just super lovely. And then we're going to take some dimensionals and we're going to pop them on the back, three is plenty, okay and then we're just going to centre that on that little pocket there, make sure you get it in the centre, we're going to pop a tiny little bit of bling on that, and I just used one of our rhinestones, basic rhinestones, it gives you a nice bit of bling, so I'm going to use the medium sized one, nearly out of them. And I just centered that there just to make it look a little classy. You can use whatever you want. I know that in our kits this month we did have some little silver and gold dimensionals. You can use those if you wish. Uh, and all we need to do now is to pop something on the end. Now I decided that the gingham would look really cute with this. Um, so. I'm just going to cut off a little piece of gingham. Let me tell you the sort of measurement we're talking about. I'd say about six inches. We don't want it too long. So I'm going to cut it at six inches. It's a gorgeous little ribbon. I love gingham anything, really. I'm very much a gingham fan. I remember my mum growing up used to buy that linen cotton um, fabric and she used to cross-stitch the squares to make tablecloths. That's when I think of gingham, I think of those tablecloths. Okay, 
Now, of course, we could use some of the um, silver foil um, twine if we wanted to. But I just thought I'd use this just for um, something different. So when I've popped it on, I always like to just cut my little edges on an angle just to stop them from fraying. Makes them look a bit prettier. Um, and so we're going to use our bone folder now. We're just going to extend that little pocket out a little bit. And then we're going to put in our little emery board so it fits down in there beautifully. You can get it to go right down to the bottom. And there we go. Isn't that lovely? I think it's a really sweet little gift. Super easy for you to do. You can do them in batches. A lot of the cheap shops um, stock these emery boards so you'll be able to just grab yourself a few packets. Get them ready for your Christmas gifts. Nice one for the neighbours. Anyone really. So there you go. Let me show you all three. I have a lot more of these in my future because I have a lot of emery boards to find, uh, sorry, to, to make little houses for, so what I've called these. And uh, yeah, super quick, easy gift, but as I said, also fantastic for craft fairs. Don't forget, if you don't already have a Stamping Up demonstrator and you're in Australia, come and have a look at my website, craftwithfee.com. I'd love to have you as a customer. And I'll check, I'll check, um, I'll do the download for all of the members. Um, in the next couple of days, there'll be an email to you for all of the nine projects that we did this month. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.